Hello, welcome to DataPX Tutorials. My name is Christina, and today I will show you how to watch real time signal, change axis, and give you a basic overview of the data acquisition window. Open data acquisition window from the instrument window using its icon or from menu analysis. The window contains two fundamental parameters time, which is on the x axis, and signal which is on the y-axis. When watching real-time signal, you can use different views. Default view is the context axis, which automatically switches between floating and fixed axis, depending whether the instrument is running. Floating axis is selected when the instrument isn't running and we are monitoring the baseline. Signal is automatically vertically centered and displayed in relative ranges based on the fields above the area for signals. When the signal reaches the end of the graph area, the signal returns to the start again. Fixed axis is selected when there is a running analysis. Display is determined by fixed time, where you need to set the time from and to, and by fixed signal, where signal from and to is also set. Auto axis is similar to context axis. It means it uses floating axis when the instrument isn't running, but in running state, the range of the signal axis starts at the minimum value and enlarges according to the curves of the signal, thus the signal always fits in. Time range can be changed in the toolbar. Toolbar above the graph panel provides icons for controlling data acquisition, such as starting, stopping, aborting and taking a snapshot. You can zoom part of the graph, change to previous zoom or next zoom using the icons in the toolbar and then double click to unzoom. The name of the measured chromatogram is displayed in the window header and elapsed time of the running analysis is displayed in the status bar below the graph. If the acquisition is not running, three question marks appear. Far the settings of the data acquisition window is found in the graph properties. Right mouse click in the graph and choose properties. Here you can set other settings such as grid for easier reading of values, legend for purpose of multi-signal data acquisition, set width of the signal line and axis. Choose custom colors of signals and change background colors for when the instrument is in running state or waiting state. And this is basically how to watch real-time signal, change axis and respective ranges, how to zoom part of the signal, and how to change graph properties. For more details, please check the related tutorials. And if anything remains unclear, you can always press F1 to show help, go through multiple guides and documentation on datapex.com, or contact our support department. Thank you for watching, and I'm looking forward in the upcoming tutorials.